Chris, how long did you train for this competition? About one year. One year. All right. What inspired you to do it? Being able to set a goal. And I have a lot of bodybuilders that I look up to, like Kai Green and Arnold, and it just seemed like something I'd like to try out. Yeah. yeah. What, what made you get into, like, I mean, why, why bodybuilding? Well, at first I just started, like, just to be healthy, like, going to the gym. And then a couple of my friends, like, got me even more into it. But then, just, like, starting training with you, and it just kind of, like, kept building up towards it. Like, uh, a little. Okay. Was it after my, when I did my competition, did, I mean, did that help you, uh, and did that inspire you more to get into it, or? Yeah, definitely. It looked like, it was cool just being, like, knowing someone, obviously, that I was, like, doing it, instead of just, like, seeing how, like, TV or whatever, I just like hand yeah. Good. Tell us what you went through and to get to where you needed to be. Well, that's, well, I had to like, my bulking phase, and then it was more just like what I had to give up during like dieting. Like as we got close to the show, I had to like be more and more strict, like bring like my food everywhere I go and yeah. not being able to go places and getting fights with my girlfriend and stuff like that. But I got into fights with my girlfriend yeah. too. It was definitely it. worth it. It was worth it? Yeah. Good. Didn't think at the time, uh, but after. Did, what, did you, what did you learn from it? I mean, did you, like, did, was it, <clears throat> did you learn discipline? What, like, what? Yeah, definitely. To discipline, stick with things, because there are definitely times when I wanted to, like, give up and just, like, uh, not do it, but yeah. obviously having you there and, like, everyone that's, like, supported me, it made it a lot easier. It definitely. I mean, when I had, when I was doing my competition, uh, I had Ray, Ray Boyd training me, and I would, there was one point where I just wanted to give up. I knew it was only three weeks out of the show, and uh, I just I needed to talk to somebody, and I mean, he helped me stick through it. I mean, how did it work out for you? Yeah, no, definitely. There was like, I think it was like four weeks out, and I just really was like, I don't think I can do this anymore, but then like, yeah, I talked to you and my girlfriend, they are just like, if you just do this and like, stick through it, once you're done, they'll be so proud that you like, accomplished it, and like, you just look back on it. Do you think the surrounding people were a big help to you? Oh yeah, definitely. If I was doing this myself, I don't think I would have done it. Alright, good. Would you do it again? Definitely. Now that it's all over with and I know that I can do it, it's definitely Great. see it through different eyes. So yeah. when's the next show? I'd say not for a while, probably like next year. Sometime. Next year? Yeah, what time? April, April? Maybe we'll do it together? Yeah. Yeah? Definitely. Train together? Different Trainer classes, and uh, yeah. client? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> good, good. Uh, would you do anything different this time? Mm, just that like, when I was like doing it the first time, I didn't realize how every single day, no matter how far away you are, is so important. So like maybe now, like every time, even if I'm a year out, just like every rep counts and every like right. day you go training, everything you eat like makes a difference, even if it's like the slightest thing. Good. So Take for our next show, day. then uh, we'll push each other to the limits, right? Yeah. All right. Not really Good. Uh, now, Tell us what you mean. What you would say to anybody who is interested in getting in a competition or in bodybuilding? I'd say you definitely first have to realize how what you're getting yourself in now, and how like difficult it's going to be. But if you have people that you surround yourself with to help you get through it and everything, that it's definitely possible, and you'll definitely learn a lot of things along the way. Yeah, a lot of uh, determination, dedication. Uh, and it's a lot of mental and yeah. physical. Spiritual. Throughout the, yes, even everything, all of that. It's very tough on your life, but yeah. it's a big accomplishment. Yeah. So tell us how you felt when you were actually on that stage and everybody's looking, the crowd's looking at you, and you're, you know you're being judged. I was definitely like the best part of it all. Finally, like getting there, and just before I went on, I was just like so caught up, but and so nervous, just like ready to get on. But like as soon as I went on stage, everything like I had done all the workouts and like preparing for the pose and everything I felt like confident to be there and it just everything felt right and I was just happy to be on stage finally. Were you nervous at all? Yeah I mean I was really nervous like when I was about to get on my heart was racing but once I like stood on stage and like everyone was cheering and everything. Felt, felt good, good huh? Yeah, definitely. Felt Were confident. you happy with your end results? Yeah I think so. I mean no matter what would have happened, I would have been happy with just because I knew like how hard I worked and that I accomplished it. But absolutely, I'm proud of you. absolutely. And uh, what were your plans after the show? Well, I went to Remo's, of course, my favorite restaurant. And would you eat pizza? Definitely my pizza. favorite. What but else did you eat? I got 
chicken parm, and fried pretty much everything they had to offer. I got. There you but go. And you fit all, all that in your stomach, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't wait to get to it. Out of at that point, just my eyes were bigger than my mouth was at that time. Let's say throw out the boat chicken and squash and give me that pizza. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Very good.